Good morning YouTube. I have woken up this morning. It's <coughs> 8 o'clock in the morning uh, to find my Acanthus Scourge and Aculata flipped on its back and preparing to molt. I am incredibly happy I've caught this because uh, I've been wanting to catch a tarantula molting since I started in the hobby. So I'm probably chuffed about this. So I'll keep updating on the video. I can't take a whole long video or like a um, a time lapse because I don't know how to do those. So I'll just keep updating on this uh, hopefully throughout the whole molt. But I I'm just so happy to catch this finally. Especially this particular tarantula because it's so large compared to all my others. Let's get a little... Look at those fangs. Brutal. Okay, so I'll keep you guys posted, and yeah, awesome. Yeah, guys, I don't know if you can really see this, but it uh, started to move its limbs around quite a lot, very slowly. It's uh, been about two hours, about ten o'clock now, so I think it's sort of just preparing to start actually casting it off. I don't really know, but I'm assuming. Anyway, I'll cut back when there's a bit more progression. Yep, yeah, I was right, it's just started to actually cast it off. You can't see on the camera, but there's the um, the underside of the abdomen is starting to wrinkle up, where she's starting to finally pull herself out. That would be my text message tone on my phone. But far fancy for you lovers there. This is awesome. Okay, I'm going to cut it off here and I'll uh, cut back when there's a bit more to show. As you can see, she's uh, really starting to cast off the skin now. You can see, you can just see at the bottom there the um, new carapace coming through. It looks like she's near, nearly extracted her chelicery completely. So soon we'll see the pearl white fangs. This is pretty cool. For uh, any beginners, um, uh, just just a sort of a a note for you: when you see tarantulas on their back like this, yeah, don't be concerned. They're not dying or anything. When tarantulas die, they adopt the death curl position where they're on their front and they curl their legs under their bodies. You see a lot of beginners on forums being concerned when they see their tarantulas on their back like this. Don't touch them, don't do anything, just leave them. It's an incredibly stressful period and they just need to be left alone and allowed to perform their molt undisturbed. and just sit back and watch it, it's a, an awesome sight to behold I think incredible anyway I'll cut back when there's a bit more progression as you can see we're getting quite far through the malt 
legs are about halfway through. See those pearl white fangs? Awesome. Okay, so she's nearly extract herself completely now. It's coming to the end of the shed, I think. So it's just a quick 20 seconds of footage. Alright, the next bit will be once she's fully cast off. Alright guys, as you can see, she's uh, actually completely extracted herself from the exoskeleton. She's still lying on her back uh, and she'll flip back over relatively soon. Uh, I'll get a video of that. Peace. Okay guys, this is the, uh, the finished product, so to speak finished molting and uh, it's difficult to get a good idea of the size there because she's sort of bunched up a bit but I reckon she's about six inches this is the old exoskeleton just here my last little bit I'm just gonna f I'm gonna put her back on my shelf and then I'll flatten that exoskeleton out and see if we can have a look at the uh, epigastric furrow from the inside and see what we can find. Fairly sent us as a female. When I bought it, it, they sold it as a female, so it'll be interesting to see for sure. But I'm, you know, fairly certain it is. But hopefully, it'll be big enough to be able to show you guys what you what you're looking for. All right, cheers. Well, guys, um, upon closer inspection, what I thought was my female geniculata turns out to be a male geniculata. So Michael Jackson is now a male. Um, a little bit annoyed. I was hoping to be able to breed her myself, so now if I'm going to want to get genetic slings, I'm going to have to send him out on loan when he actually matures out, because he's not mature still. Um, pretty gutted, to be honest. Pretty gutted. Uh, for people that don't know what they're looking for, when you're looking for, uh, when you're trying to sex a tarantula, you're looking, you've got the, book, the four book lungs here, the two sets, these white blobs. In between this front pair, closest to the legs of the tarantula, you can't really see it on the actual uh, camera, unfortunately, because the quality is not very clear. We have a little patch here that's the epigastric furrow, and there should be some spermatocytes, and it should sort of look like a little leaf of I don't know, it looks like like a, like a really thin, papery leaf, but. Um, like I said, you can't really see it on here, but th there's nothing. Um, I had a little bit of help from some people on my forum, Lisa, um, because I'm not that great at sex myself. And yeah, definitely a male. So pretty annoyed. Uh, and it seems like it's sort of molting day today because the tarantula gamer has had two molts today his Haptopelma arbostriatum and his Avicularia avicularia pretty crazy <laughs> but uh, yeah check his videos out they're well good especially if you're into snakes and stuff he's got some awesome awesome snake videos especially his royal pythons I love them and he's got some pretty tasty tarantulas as well so check them out and uh, yeah cheers guys I'll have, I should have a video up tomorrow um, preparing to pack my mature male versicolor off for breeding line so check it out later